let's look at this question. The number of books in a store, number of books sold, the number of books ordered, but not picked up and number of books returned by the customers in previous years are shown in the figures given below for own bookstore for three years, 2004, 2005, 2006. Essentially, four major data points are told to us. Number of books sold, number of books available at the beginning of the year, ordered but not picked up, and sales returns. These four things are told to us for three years, four, five, and six. The number of books sold in a year includes the books ordered but not picked up in that year. Net sales for a year is calculated on the difference between the number of books sold and the number of books returned in the year. So number of books sold and number of books returned in that year is net sales. Okay, 60% of the books ordered but not picked up. Now, see, some people are doing this. They're ordering a book. They're paying for it, but they are not collecting it from the store, home bookstore. They are collecting it at a later point of time. So, 60% of the books ordered but not picked up are picked up in the next year and remaining in the year after that. Okay. So, let's say, let's look at 2004 data. 100 books were ordered but not picked up in 2004. So, 60 of those books were picked up in 2005 and 40 of these were picked up in 2006. This is what this instruction is telling us. Okay. Number of books available for sales at the beginning of the year in the store. Unsold books is equal to unsold books from last year. Books returned by customers last year plus fresh purchases for the year. Pay attention. Unsold books of last year, books returned by customers last year and fresh purchases for the year. Okay. And the fresh purchases for the year are made at the beginning of the year. This is also told to us. Number of books sold in a year does not include books from the past years, which are ordered in previous years, but not picked up. Okay. So, number of books sold in a year does not include books from past years, which are ordered in previous years, but not picked up. So, if a book is sold, whichever year the sale transaction happened in, in which you gained the revenue, you are counting the book selling in that year only. Even if the book is not picked up, you are counting the selling in that year. Okay, so lots of data points. Let us go ahead and try to capture. There is something known as fresh purchases. So I'll say fresh purchases, then unsold last, unsold last year, then returns from last year, returns from last year. So, this will give us availability data. Let me make a table and record. Although there are only three years, making tables is nicer way of representing. Given that the operation started in 2004 only, See, available books, we had 1,500, 2,000, and 1,000. So, 1,500, 2,000, and 1,000. This we've captured. Another table we can create is net sales. So, sales and sales returns. This will give us sales return net sales. And about picked up and not picked up also, I can make a table. First, let me create the table here. Two thousand four, two thousand five, two thousand six, And finally, I will make a similar table here. This will be for, again, sales, picked, not picked. Okay. So, 2004, 2005, and 2006. We have these three tables that we can create. 4, 5, 6, 4, 5, and 6. Now, because the business started its operation in 2004 only, all the books for 2004 will be fresh books only. There will be no unsold from last year or returns from last year. That is not mentioned at all. So 2004, this is done. In 2004, 100 books were sold. 
or sorry, thousand books were sold, and how many were returned? None. So net sales is thousand only. This is great. Okay. So now, now look at this. There were fifteen hundred books last year, of which thousand books were sold. Net sales thousand books were sold. So unsold from last year will be five hundred. And how many were returns of last year? Zero. So fresh books in two thousand five will be fifteen hundred again. And fifteen hundred because two thousand total available books. So in two thousand five there were fifteen hundred sales happening, of which. Hundred were returned, so you had net sales of fourteen hundred. So if fourteen hundred were sold, of the two thousand available books, if fourteen hundred were sold, unsold from last year will be six hundred, and because you have to reach a total of thousand, fresh sales would be. Oh, sorry, 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 not this way. We'll break it down this way. Unsold from last year, from two thousand. Fifteen hundred were sold. So unsold from last year is five hundred. Returns from last year are hundred. So fresh sales would be four hundred, which leads us to thousand. This entire table is done. Now, in two thousand and six, eight hundred books were sold, of which fifty were returned. So net sales were seven fifty. Basically, every metric that is given here we have captured. Now, this is for picked up. Picked up and not picked up data. So in two thousand four, how many sales did we have? One thousand. How many ordered but not picked up is hundred. So how many were picked up? Nine hundred. Out of thousand, hundred not picked up. So nine hundred are picked up. But because hundred are not picked up, sixty percent of these will be picked up in the next year, and the remaining in this year. This also I've captured straight away. In the next year. There were fifteen hundred, fifteen hundred of sales, and not picked up of these were two hundred. So how many were picked up? Thirteen hundred plus sixty, and of these two hundred, one twenty were picked up in the next year. One twenty were picked up in the next year. Now in the final year, two thousand six, sales were eight hundred. Of these, hundred were not picked up. So seven hundred were picked up. And hundred were not picked up. Here I have written these numbers down in a broken up fashion so that you can see for which year which year corresponds to which number. Okay, we have pretty much all the data for these three years. Let's get to individual questions. How many units of books were picked up from the store in two thousand and six? In two thousand and six, how many books? Seven hundred plus one twenty eight twenty eight twenty plus forty eight sixty. So option A should be the answer. Okay, and then next, among the books available for sale, how many units of books were lying in the store already, and how many were fresh purchases in the beginning of the year two thousand six? Can you see fresh purchases is four hundred, and these were already lying in the store four hundred here and six hundred here. So our answer should be six hundred comma four hundred because fresh purchases was the subsequent term asked. Answer has to be C. Next. <clears throat> At the end of two thousand and six, how many total units of books ordered were not picked up from the store? How many units of books ordered were not picked up from the store? Can you see? Of these two hundred, one twenty are gone, so eighty are left. Of these two hundred, one twenty are picked up in the next year, so eighty are left, and the entirety of this hundred is left. So one eighty books are yet to be picked up. So option B, and last. Total net sales of books in uh, total net sales of books in units of the store for the given three years is net sales in three years will be fourteen hundred twenty one fifty plus one thousand so three one five zero or option B and that will be the entirety of the set. The set is very very simple. All that it does is it overloads you with information and then expects you to carefully record every piece of data. There is no interpretational challenge with this set. Okay. Mm -hmm.